and this is us essentially two weeks later doing the same thing. Zone left, smoke right. Who's a read key? He's reading depth eyes and leverage of that guy. You know, obviously it's covered down or not covered down, but if the corner's rolled up pressing, you know, we're, we don't love that throw. Right. Because it, it can blow get off your yeah. face. But it's the same exact thing we talked about with the bubble. There's some really good clips of John doing this. So he's off of this right now, but these guys are never dead. To them, the play is always live. Right. So if this guy would make John pull the ball and John runs into the alley and the safety, you know, if the safety fills the corner, we can spit that ball out to okay. Reek. So what's his pre-snap progression on this? In terms of is it's a corner read? Right now? It, what's what's yeah? What's our cover down like? How right. close is this guy? Okay. What's his depth? What's his leverage? Okay. Um, you, know, you still can get this thrown out here. But it's not like it's a bubble where you're affecting a flat player now. It's more. It's more the the. Usually we have numbers to get the guy locked. It's what's his depth? What's his leverage on smoke? It's a little bit. You know, it's kind of, It's almost like the bubble has been. It's been thrown and we're already out there. Right. You know, what's the, how, how hard or that easy is sense. that block? So what's the read key now? It's still, it's still, are they covered down or not? And what's the depth size and leverage of the corner? Right, but that's pre-snap. Right. But now post-snap, if it's an RPO, right, what's the? But it's still, he's, it, for the difference with this, this type of RPO for us is it's, it's, it turns into zone read after the snap. And after he pulls it, here's a good clip of it. Kind of talk me through it. So they're covered here, two for two. We're not going to throw it. Right. He's going zone read. Ball snap. Now Jr. pulls this one. Smart, so the yeah. movement key now is this guy. If if this guy would add, he would spit that out there. We have single blocks here. I got you. So that you know. For, so I'm triple option. Yeah, it's it's more triple option than RPO, but they're kind of the same thing to me. No, they are. No, yeah. I, I agree with that. Um. So now, when you teach, you still teach C gap player. On his own read stuff, you yep. talk about defensive end. What do you? We we teach C gap player most of the time. You know the, the thing that uh, I got a, clip, a good clip of it here. The, the a lot of people's issue is the four eye. Yeah. Uh, we we'll we'll like talking with Tennessee and those guys like you know they don't want to release the four eye because they're worried about getting murdered. Like that kind of, we're not. We'll we'll art release the tackle and read that guy. Okay. And get a pull. Um, but it's it's usually the C gap guy. I mean it, you know it's. Our offense is in a million different plays, but it's a million different decisions. So we try to keep the decisions yeah. as similar as we yep. can. This is, you know, this might be old clinic joke here. This is just great coaching. We require back jump cuts and yeah, runs and so. Here's us reading three technique. So now you got the smoke packaged in with a midline read. Yeah, and we and it's a, it's. Really, it's this is more pre-snap cover uncovered because you can't work out from that guy. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't get your eyes, and you might once he pulls it. But you know, in the midline, you know, just they're zoning that way. They're they're zoning this way. And we're gonna read the fat guy. But whenever and this is an old Chip Kelly from Oregon, yes, or from New Hampshire, New Hampshire. going further back than that. You know, it's what's the fat guy gonna do with it with a when he's unblocked and the back's running that way? Whether he has the ball or not, he's gonna go tackle the back. Yeah. 99 times out of 100. So now once this decision is made, now he knows that the third element of it is still the smoke butt, right? Or is he just taking it? Is this a dual concept for you or is it still a triple? It can be It can be a double, like right here. Because like now you're reading an interior line. We're Exactly. And it looks like we're blocking this one because we're down this tight. You know, we're, we're sending guys to yeah. block guys. But it's a, it could be the same idea where John knows if I do have a smoke here and somebody is adding Right, that, that was a cover down guy, then somebody out here has to be uncovered and there has to be a single block out there. You know. But was that a smoke was that a smoke to the left? Did you that, that wasn't. No, I I had that on there but it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, same thing. I don't think this I don't think we smoked this one either. Okay. But you just as easily could. You know, this could be one up, one back. This could be a block guy. Now this guy's free, so when JR would pull it. Some of these we'll do third and one. We'll just we'll call a run play, but then signal a, a depth and a route to these guys, whether it's a hitch or an out. Uh, just to, you know, if they're playing inside leverage and off, we'll run a hitch or a quick out while everybody else here is blocking. Yeah. What cut up is this for you? This is a, a run pass clinic. So why is this on there? 
Just pre, it's just a pre snap because they're blocking inside zone up front and outside we're running two okay. yard hitches because it's third you. and one. I got you. So kind of the same premise as the, uh, you know, same here third and one. Into the boundary, the guy's tight, so he doesn't want to throw a pocket in front to the field, but it's also third and one, so you also give it. It's a ballsy move for third and one. Yeah, same thing here, third and one. They run a corner fire here. Yeah. And again, JR is being cautious, but that's really why you're running it. Throw that thing out there and make one guy miss. So he should have pulled that. He should have yeah. thrown it. Yeah. That's where you're doing it. And so we, and Sam said it, we said like instead of running just true, true triple, we still run true triple, but instead of retracing this guy, now we just smoke this guy out here and he ends up being the pitch after the snap. You know, pre-snap again, so you maybe throw it, maybe not, but it's two over two, so probably not. Um, but then post-snap here, Jared could probably spit this one out. But no, you know, this guy really didn't add in his face, so he's not worried about him, so he... Is that what you tell him when you say when he adds? Well, what's add mean? It means if he's in your face right now, or if he's a threat to tackle. Like, what's the verbiage? You use yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what exactly yeah. Sam says, but I think it's you know it, it, it's that it's the same conversation Mike you have. Yeah, you when you say cover or uncover, like what's covered, what's under, is it a depth? Is it you know? It's kind of like you know when you see it, if yeah. you have any doubt, don't throw the ball. Um, you know, there's another. I think it's the next. Here's one with the four eye. This is why we like doing, we got to doing more smokes than retrace option stuff. Because if you watch how these guys rally to a smoke, you know, I mean, they're running out, way outside the numbers. Again, part of it's the split. But they run way, way outside the numbers. And so now they're not, you know, when you, when you retrace and you run zone read option, there's a guy there. Now those guys are at, now they're also uh, their zone dog. That's a great but, point. You know, I think that you, there's a couple more big clips of it too. And again, here's us with the four eye. You know, it, it, teams, it, it screws up your doubles. You never get to this guy. Yeah. You know, our thing is we're just gonna arc release and let let the quarterback run if we have to. You're gonna be short anyhow. <laughs> you know, with no tight end in the game, but you just gotta be willing to run the quarterback. Set it in the boundary. Set, set, post. And we are, we miss our post block. The ball just out there so fast. You did a good job with all this stuff. Is when and those guys are uh, aren't there anymore. Scott Van Zyl did a real good Who's job. Who's that? He was at the Monmouth. They're now he's at Steve yeah. or he's at Scott Van Zyl is at Stephen F. Austin. Terrence Archer, I think, is at, no, Van Zyl is at Elon. Terrence Archer is at Sam Houston, I think. And Kevin Morris now. So Kevin Morris is back here. Now, out of quads, again, this, 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 should, diamond stuff, this should be a touchdown. Post, we have two rappers to block this guy, and they, neither of them fucking do. But this should be, I mean, look at this right here. Oh my God. God. Uh, so those kids know, uh, you just add another rapper. Just add another there. guy, you know. So what we tell him is, you know, rapper guy's rule is always the same. Is it, Check the double, you know, get your eyes here, but check the security of the double team. But now, this is really your guy because you're the extra guy. Screw it up. Terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. And then here, we're running zone read left. We're going to crack so the quarterback player. Okay. And we're going to smoke this guy as our pitch guy. So it's a double count, double option. Yep. And so what he does is he, you know, he takes the, it ends up being triple because he's not yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. He takes the dive. We're blocking the quarterback player with the X. Again, the same thing we talked about, why we like smoke better than retrace, because this guy's rallying outside the number. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those clinic serendipity clips, too. The safety fits inside, <laughs> yeah. so the tackle works up to the safety, which never, ever happens. Yeah. It's happened to happen here. So you want, I'm just trying to get, each. so in this situation, why not throw I know you want to run the quarterback, right? And that's because why not throw the smoke? So in two by, will you throw a lot of smoke in two by two? We will. I mean, 